Another aspect that I think the Muslims should be at the forefront is the problem of food in this country. We now have an obesity epidemic in this country that is spreading all over the world because of the types of food we're eating. There's ample evidence now that plant-based diets are the most important types of diets. Our Prophet ﷺ was extremely conservative in what he ate. He did not encourage overeating. In fact, he encouraged slightly undereating. And this is clear in our sunnah. All of these problems that we're seeing in obesity are from the way our food is produced. In fact, one of the people at the National uh, in, uh, Institute for Health said that we produce our food like crack cocaine. It's designed to, to have an addictive effect on people. We have people now addicted to fast foods. This is real. These are real addictions. And Muslims, we have a, a religion that's predicated on halal and tayyib, on, on halal and pure food. It's one of the most important things. In fact, they said that the early companions, the early community were more, they were more concerned about their food than any other aspect of their lives to eating good things, to eating wholesome things, and to making sure that they were purchased with pure money, that the money and the earnings were pure. We know in Surah Al-Kahf, when they sent the people of the cave into the city, they asked, he told him, look for the purest food. I mean, this is in Surah Al-Kahf, look for the purest food, because people of righteousness are always concerned with what their body is made up of, because it's the body that is going to be your energy, either spiritual or demonic. And when you're eating negative food, you're going to be doing negative things. Sidi Ahmed Zarruq, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on him, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala restore him back to his place of resting, because we recently found out, uh, many of us, that Sidi Ahmed Zarruq's grave was desecrated in Libya, literally dug up. And these people claim that Libyans were worshipping Ahmed Zarruq. Sidi Ahmed Zarruq said that all of the blessings of the world are in two things, the company you keep and the food that you eat. So make sure your company is good company and make sure your food is pure food. We should be encouraging organic farms. We should be encouraging organic gardens. We should be at the forefront of the urban homesteading movement. These are things that Muslims should be involved in. We should, we should reject don't think, you know, don't think oh, I'm going to go to McDonald's and have a halal fish. Right? Seriously, because the whole way that McDonald's, everything about McDonald's is antithetical to our Prophet ﷺ and his sunnah. And I'm speaking openly. I don't care what anybody says. I am telling you that fast food is something that is destroying people. And we have to oppose fast food consumption. Don't drink Coca-Cola. Don't drink Pepsi-Cola. Don't drink Calthar-Cola. Don't drink cola. Drink water. Drink milk. Drink soy milk if you want to. But don't drink these drinks that have no, nothing good for you and the way they're produced is unhealthy. We have an unsustainable consumption of plastic. If you look back there and look at the number of plastic cans, that are plastic bottles of water that are back there, we've got a garbage fill in Isna because we're drinking. This is unsustainable. It cannot be sustained. We have to find alternative approaches to the way we consume things. We have to be committed to being green, the green dean. We have to, but we have to have commitment. I don't want applause. I want real commitment. I want people to commit to changing their lives. We need to divest in our homes. We need to be, we, people, we talk about boycotting Israel. I'm talking about boycotting all of them. If you can recognize their names, you should be boycotting them because these people are destroying this planet. They're over consuming, they're overselling. Costco is a crisis. The whole Costco mentality. Do you know that they don't even put labels on Costco? Costco hall so you don't know where things are in Costco because they want you to wander around because they know people will have impulse buying and buy more things than they actually needed. This is social psychology. You are being manipulated like mice in a maze. 
And we need to oppose this type of mentality because it's destroying people. So I'm really asking you to really think about the Better World Buying Guide. We should have our own Muslim version of that. Of, of really making choices. I don't fly United Airlines anymore because they get an F. I don't fly American. I fly Virgin American, I fly uh, Southwestern, and I fly uh, the, uh, the uh, JetBlue because these have the highest ratings in terms of how they treat their employees, in terms of their commitment to social responsibility, the amount of money they're having. Legislation is not having an impact on these people. They control legislation. The only thing that will have an impact on these people is that we stop supporting them because they have bought our senators, they have bought our congressmen. Mitt Romney speaks on their behalf and Barack Obama is speaks on their behalf. We need to take back our country and the way we do that is by educating ourselves and educating others and making moral commitments, moral commitments to not being part of the madness that we're in. A 